At the end of the lesson, you have expected to identify pre-pruning strategies, differentiate between depth and max depth, and appreciate the use of pre-pruning strategies. In making decision trees, our goal is to always have an optimal performance of our model, especially when it is deployed for production. And the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to think of how we prune our model in the very first instance of our project. And so this can help us perform early stopping. Pre-pruning strategies can have two categories and that we're going to have them today one by one. So the first one is that it is a size related decision. So what is this all about? Just by the word itself, size related, the first thing that would come to mind is that we're going to set a certain depth. And later on, we're going to have more discussions about what setting a certain depth is, about what a depth is. And we're going to differentiate depth and max depth. So for now, we will have the second thing that is very much related to size related decision. So what is this? So in this kind of category, we always have to think also of what is the number of leaves that can be the baseline of our splitting. It means to say that when this maximum number of split is attained, then we don't want to go further. And that is what we don't want. The next one is that more than a given number of total leaves. And also this refers to what we don't want. So again, when it becomes higher than the number that we want, then it means to say that that number and beyond may make our tree perform so badly. And that is why we don't want to go further. And also, in some cases, we don't want the split to be less than a certain number. In some cases, we also take note of the observations. And we want the observations to be equal or higher than a certain threshold. So for example, when we set the number of observations to be just seven and what we have is just six and below then, we don't want that to happen. So that means we are going to set our observations or features to be just seven and above. So that is all about size related decisions. So what is then is the difference between the tree depth or the depth and the maximum depth. So there are two things that we have to take note of for both of them. First is that tree depth refers to how many splits before making a prediction. The keyword here is actually prediction. So which means that we always have to think of homogeneity of our nodes or the purity of the nodes. So that means from the very root, when it does not attain purity, then it will never stop splitting. The drawback the disadvantage of having this kind of depth is that our decision tree can be very much prone to overfitting because we don't have any threshold that would tell our model to just stop at a certain point. And so this max depth is designed to give solution to overfitting. What is this max depth? So max depth is a way to pre-prune our decision tree which means before the model is being run, we have to decide the maximum depth of a decision tree, which means to say that the tree will never split as it wants because we have set a certain threshold for the splitting to stop. So let's look at this example. This is in the Python code. This is actually a very much effective way to do this one. So we are very much lucky because Python has this program to help us. So here we have set our maximum depth to six. So we have one to six. And that means that our model is going to give us six results. And out of these six results, we would be able to determine which one gives us the proper and the better performance. So, and also if you would like to store the accuracy of its value of, of your max depth, then we could have this program. So here we have this some kind of container to store the results of the different max depth ranges from one to six. And if we are going to run this, then we could see the performance of each split, split one, split two, until split number six. The next thing is that 
it is a condition related decision so we are done with size related so we have talked about different thresholds and this time condition related by the name itself it has something to do with condition so it means to say that we're going to tell our decision tree to stop from splitting just by having these conditions the first is that it has something to do with p over nodes so it means to say that when we could see that the node is more or less pure then we can say that we're going to stop splitting and this is actually very much applicable when we talk about classification problems the next one is that all observations in the leaf belong to the same class and again it refers to the classification problems and another thing is that when we want our decision to, to start or to stop from splitting is that when making more splits does not improve the purity of the measure so when the measure is deteriorating then we can possibly say that we are going now to stop the splitting of our nodes what is this for why do we have to study this pre-pruning is actually very important because it avoids overfitting so that means we can ensure that our model can really perform better after all being said and done let's try this how do we pre-prune a tree what is the difference between depth and max depth why do we need to pre-prune a tree please write your answers in the comment down below so that we would be able to have a very rich interaction of ideas and we can learn from each other do you want to know more about this channel just click these cards we do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials deep learning mathematics and a lot more here you can always learn an upskill for free